Donald Trump has arrived in New York City, preparing to surrender for his uh, uh, arraignment. And, you know, we got to, with Charlie Kirk is hanging out and we were talking earlier. So I think, I think Charlie might disagree, but I, I was saying this earlier on my morning show that if you want to explain to people just how close we are to societal collapse or the precipice, just tell them, ask them, what happens if Donald Trump doesn't surrender? 34 counts. What happens if Donald Trump just says no? Okay, well, we know he's going to New York. We know he's going to do it. Okay, here's the other scenario. What happens if a judge says we remand Donald Trump to the custody of the New York criminal court system, meaning he's going to jail and they're not going to let him out until the case is resolved? What do you think happens to this country? The front runner for the Republican Party, a former president for the first time in history, that's the precipice because I could not imagine a peaceful resolution if either of those things occurs. And that's what we're dealing with right now. And it's not just the indictment in New York. 